In this Unity tutorial, I'm going to show how to use two joysticks in Unity. So the main thing for any joysticks in Unity is that you set up the input manager and you can access the input manager from pressing edit, uh, project settings, input. And by default, the input manager only has 18 elements. It goes up to from horizontal down to cancel over here. But I've added 54 element. I've added so that we have 54 elements. And um, what I have is one joystick, which has 18 inputs. And I've put a one on the end of each of these for the first joystick. And then I've repeated those here with a two at the end for the second joystick. So on my computer, on my laptop, I've plugged in two Logitech F310 game pads into my USB ports. So I'm gonna be able to detect whether somebody's pressing something on joystick one or joystick two. Um, I'm just gonna show you this running right now. And first I had here detected that I do have one and two controller gamepad F310s. And um, this will show me using the gamepad one. If I press the right trigger or the left trigger, the RB and the LB, the back button, the start button, the analog stick on the left, the analog stick on the right, A, B, X, Y, the D pad, up and down, left and right. And if I press in with my thumb, the left analog or the right analog. And then I can grab my second joystick, plug into my second USB port here. And the same thing, I got the triggers, the buttons, the back, the start, left analog, right analog, A, B, X, Y, the D-pad, up and down, left and right, left analog, right analog press. All right, so this is working. And uh, um, there's two things, like I said. First was the setting up of the input manager settings. And what I did here was I mapped out the, um, the settings for the input manager for a gamepad of a Logitech or a Xbox 360 controller. And here it is, the, the LT and the RT are basically the third axis. The left analog is the X and Y axis. The right analog is the fourth and fifth axis. And the D-pad is the sixth and seventh axis. Everything in blue, these are um, the joystick buttons. And all the joystick buttons, they have to be named exactly case sensitive the way they are listed here. So LB is like button four. RB is button five, the A, B, X, and Y are button zero through three. And there's, um, I said joystick one in here because I have two joysticks. So the buttons, when I'm defining the button I'm pressing, I have to say joystick one for the, um, the button on the first joystick. And if I was like trying to read from uh, the second joystick, this, these, you would just change these joystick ones and these button mappings to joystick two, button five, joystick two, button six. Okay, so basically on a joystick, on a gamepad, there's 18 inputs. There's either, they're either gonna be divided up as a button, like you see here, the blue is the buttons, or they're gonna be an axis. So buttons basically have an on-off value, a zero or a one, and the axes, usually have values that go from a minus one to a plus one. For the axes, when you're doing the settings in the input manager, you're gonna have to pay attention to these settings in the input manager. Um, the dead zone, which I found when I was using my Logitech F310 gamepad, I found that I had to move it from 0.002 to 0.004. The sensitivity I set to one, um, by default, the sensitivity is 1000, which just makes the analog stick give you a value of a zero or a one. 
but no values in between. When I set the sensitivity to one, then I get all the values in between continuously as I move the, um, the axis control. Um, the type is a joystick axis, and the axis you're going to have to look up here on the mappings for what you're going to have to put in here. But for example here, there's an x-axis, and then the joystick number to read from. So if, if these are my settings for my here, my joystick one from L1 to right analog press one, then all of them will have the joystick set to joystick one. And if it's my other joystick here for the second one, then I would have that set to joystick two. So that's the axis. And then for the buttons, um, these are the three settings that matter. It's the alt positive button setting. And here's where you have to put in the exact text that you see here. It's case sensitive, the spaces matter, everything has to be exact. And the first part, joystick one says the button I'm using and button zero is the button that is being pressed, that we're checking for to be pressed. Then for the type, instead of joystick axis, we can have to set it to keyboard or mouse button. And of course the joystick number, I just wanna read from joystick one. And on the other hand, if I'm reading a button from joystick two, I would have to set the join number to joystick two. And um, instead of saying joystick one, button zero, as an example, I would have to say joystick two, button zero. Okay, so this um, PDF here is on omarvision.com. You could download the PDF. And um, also on omarvision.com, these input manager settings, let me just show you, for example, the left trigger is a axis on a joypad, on a gamepad, and the settings that I had to set were the type is joystick axis. I picked the axis that it was from, which is the third axis, and I said I only want to read from joystick one. Um, if you just wanted to set up to read from any joystick plugged in, you can pick get motion from all joysticks. But this example, I have two joysticks, so I have to say that this one is just for joystick one. And what else mattered? Oh yes, I said the uh, dead zone, which is, it's better at 0 0.4, and the sensitivity at one. Okay, so that's the way an axis setting would look. Um, and then for a button setting, say like the A button, I have here, this is joystick one. It's a key or mouse button. And the other setting that matters here is alt positive button, which, it's joystick one, button zero for A, okay? You just have to refer to this. Now, it takes a while to type in all these input manager settings. And as you can imagine, if you're going from one project to another and you had to do this for each project, it could be quite a headache. So you have to know the trick that in Unity, those settings are in your project in a folder called project settings, there's a file called input manager. And this file, it's basically a text file with all the settings from your um, input manager window, textually stored. And the good thing about this is that it can be copied. So all you have to do is you would have to stop the project and take a copy and drag and drop it over here to overwrite the default projects input manager setting, input manager file, where to go. And then you would restart Unity and you would be able to have the um, settings from a file without having to type them all in. Any questions? Um, there you go, there's another joystick tutorial I did where I went through a little bit slower. But um, as far as it goes for this one, just remember, Input Manager, you can um, copy the file I have on omarvision.com and you can also copy this, um, the mapping settings that I also have on omarvision.com and then in the code, yeah I didn't show you the code, um, this is to read the joystick settings after you put them in. If it's a button setting, you could use the input class get button and then just type in the name of the setting, the name that you gave to your setting in the input manager. So let me just show you here the input manager one more time. See all these names here, so LT1. Uh, go back to the code. 
Um, so get button LB1, get button RB1, or if it's an axis, I can say input.getAxis and the name of the axis from the input manager, left analog X1. Okay, got too many things on the screen here. Left analog X1, left analog X2. So these names are what you use in the input function for getting a button or an axis. And remember, a button returns a zero or a one, and an axis returns values from minus one to plus one continuously. Mm -hmm. There you go.